Hey, it's April 30th. That makes it a Tuesday. This is the Roger Williams Media Minute. Today, I wanted to talk with you about remarketing advertising. So remarketing advertising is basically when an advertiser places a cookie onto your web browser, and then when you go somewhere else besides their website, they are sending you advertisements through their advertising partners from different sites that you go to on the internet. It allows them a way to follow up with you with their advertising based on what you had done on their website. It's been around for quite a few years. Uh, it's been always controversial because there's privacy concerns. The good news is, is that the cookie data that they're placing on your browser really should never have any personal identifiable information on it. The other issue is attribution. So if you're a business and you want to do remarketing advertising, there can be some issues with tracking exactly what conversions came from the remarketing efforts versus other efforts um, because everything's starting to get blended together. And then uh, the final one is return on investment. Is remarketing going to make you money? The, the first one, privacy. Concern is the creepiness level. When you uh, go to, let's say, Zappos and you start looking through their shopping cart, you start selecting items, but you don't go through to purchase and you leave their website and you go to another website, Zappos starts sending remarketing advertising at you and it follows you around the internet. And it can be really creepy um, to the point where, you know, they can be saying things like, hey, we haven't seen you in a while. Hey, do you want to finish buying these shoes? And while it's very general information that they're using to track that, they don't know your name, they don't know your face, they don't know who you are, they don't know what computer you're on. They just know that that browser had been on their website looking at a certain product. But to the user, to human beings, it does feel like they're watching you. And so if you're gonna do this type of advertising, you need to be aware of the creepiness factor. You also wanna be just considerate of just the sleazy salesman factor. You know, do you want to be that salesman that's calling up every five minutes or every two days to follow up on a sale with somebody? Uh, and that's really what remarketing is. It's, it's having a salesperson go into that person's browser, knock on the glass, say, hey, remember about this. Um, if you're advertising vacations, that can be great. If you're advertising tennis shoes, that's fine. If you're advertising, let's say, criminal defense services, that can be really creepy because what if I'm looking at the computer and my boss suddenly notices that there's a whole bunch of criminal defense ads showing up on my computer? Uh, you know, things can get a little dodgy then. So just make sure you're keeping your audience in mind and picturing what it's happening when these ads are showing up. The other issues lately has been the complaint of just an oversaturation with these. For instance, I have an excellent web host called Liquid Web and, and I absolutely love their service but their remarketed advertising is driving me absolutely nuts. I'm already a customer of yours. I don't need to be followed up to, to buy more at this point. Uh, and none of it's doing any good. It's just really getting annoying. Um, and the thing is, is that when you set up these advertisement campaigns with remarketing, you can configure it so that the cookie turns off after someone takes a certain action. So let's say for instance, I log into your website, I log into my customer account. You can then deactivate the cookie that's on my browser with that so that you're not continually advertising to me. Highly suggest doing that for people who are already your clients. The other thing is just a pervasiveness. There are some reports where people have gone to uh, Forbes.com and three ads, the three different ad pieces on the website were all for the same company. And it just, it, it gets annoying. I mean, let's just face it. Now, if the ROI is there and you're making money, I guess that that's fine. But, you know, try and show a little bit of class. It is going to be reflective of your business, I guess. Um, or just expect people to put more ad blockers on their stuff. But, you know, that's kind of the, the negative side of remarketing. The positive side is, is that it does allow you to follow up with people, um, you know, keep them interested in your brand, get them coming back to your website, and hopefully, you know, making that purchase again. Just know that there are multiple steps in setting up these types of campaigns. And if you follow them, you will A, spend a more appropriate amount. You won't just be spending money on people who are already your customers, which is kind of a waste of money. Um, and then also, hopefully you'll create display ads that aren't gonna creep people out. And they'll, they'll just kind of be a gentle nudging reminder of, 
hey, you were looking at this stuff, why don't you come on back and take a look again? Also, some places are offering discounts uh, to bring you back. Um, I'm not a big fan of selling on discount, but for some people it works. So that's what I've got. Email's right there. Comments are down below. Let me know what you think about remarketing advertising. Have you had success with it? Have you had problems with it? When you're personally surfing on the internet, have you noticed that ads are following you around the internet? Um, let me know what you think. Tomorrow is Wednesday. We're going to keep rocking it. I'll see you then.